Roblox in here if you Fuck. want to see the rest of our videos this week, especially about certain gay Ow. topics. Ow, that hit me in the eye. Why <laughs> are sorry. you yelling so much? This is why you all guys of should our become patrons on red. Patreon. If you guys are five dollar patrons, you will get to see all of the videos that we are doing this week early fucking early so if you want to see now, us be gay about Ilya, for ow. no particular reason i'm just gonna pick blake today oh okay okay so we are gonna go through the entire episode so let's get started so that ruby scene with yang it totally mimicked kingdom fun. hearts okay like when yang was All just right. like uh away girl or whatever the fuck she said like uh sora or Kyrie in kingdom hearts does that to sora and then aqua does that to ven obviously it's a bit like weird to compare it because sora and Kyrie seem to be more romantic but aqua and ven have a sister brother relationship uh so there you go i was excited for my kingdom hearts representation this episode okay anyway that's not the only representation you get um, I liked the cute little talk while they were doing the coffee, uh, situation, like how, uh, Weiss was just like, I will pr pour it on you, and it will burn. Like, cause Ruby, I, I still like that they have that sort of attitude, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I appreciate it. That's all that I'm gonna say. It's okay. Anyway. Um, I liked, yeah, I liked that little talk. Uh, but then when, okay, so I guess, <sighs> I don't know what to say. Sorry. I'm just, I'm struggling a little bit, okay? I'm a little too excited. Um, oh, yes. So, basically, um, I, I thought that Ruby would know better <laughs> than to, um, bring out Blake, but obviously well, she did Well, obviously you're gonna have to, like, you know... Talk about Talk about the fucking relatively big deal thing that's going yeah. on. Yeah, I mean, it happens. And so, she was obviously not okay. She said that she didn't care if Blake came back and all of this bullshit that we know isn't true. She's full of shit, right? Her hand was shaking. She says she's that- She's angry. She says she that- to, Yeah, no, she's angry, but I'm saying that the things that she was saying weren't true, that she didn't want Blake back, right? Because we see that with Weiss later, that she says that she needed Blake, right? And so it's not necessarily that she doesn't want her back, but she's saying all these things out of anger, and I feel like that's really good for Yang's character. Um, Yang is notoriously uh, level-headed. Also, it, it kind of has this comparison because later Ilya's eyes turn red uh, for a during similar a, during reason. During a scene that is totally inconsequential to the plot, yeah. might I um, and Why so, did they do that? <laughs> and so uh, you kind of have this interesting comparison, this comparison between Yang's feelings and Ilya's feelings, and I'd like to do a video on that later this week, I say as I write down that we're going to do a video oh, on that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, and so, Only you could take the beauty out of this moment, Cal. I know. With your videos. I know. And your bullshit. Anyways. Uh, and so, yeah. So I want to do a comparison about that because you kind of, like, the, I think the eye color change does mean a lot at this point, especially because we know kind of what Yang... Yang's eyes cannot lie. We know the truth. It's like Shakira's <laughs> hips. Oh, boy. Might I say. Um, which is the same joke I made. Also, uh, so I thought that was nice. And then we go uh, to Blake, basically. Blake is... Ilya is sending little notes to her. This should have been the first sign that so something like, was that going on. Like, well, like some we, sort of schoolgirl notes. We discussed this earlier that we thought that there was going to be some sort of connection that maybe she led her out. And we were kind of right. Yeah, so, but then Sun was there, so I guess Blake... We were, we were partially yeah. right. And I'm glad that Sun was there, actually, because he was actually useful this time, and I hate him a lot less as this volume goes on, which I, know, I feel she, like is good for my soul, isn't I've, it? I've, 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 come to, I've come to terms with a lot of things this episode. I know. I, I actually, like, I think that what happened was, okay, when they went inside, uh, Blake was probably like, sorry I couldn't tell you out there because they were probably listening, but Ilya wants me to meet her, so we are going to come up with a plan. Fuck boy. All right. Come and with. so, yeah, and so his son was obviously hiding somewhere and then came down, but we'll talk I about that. Okay. So, I wrote down that Ilya attacking Sun finally makes sense, but I want to get to that when we get to that, okay? okay. <laughs> um, I feel like we haven't even barely to- we're just- we, we can tell we're totally excited for an yeah. utterly inconsequential also, scene. Also, I really I no like that Weiss went after Yang instead of Ruby. I thought that was very good because Yang didn't expect it because all she says was, Oh, Weiss, do you need something? Like, she didn't expect Weiss to be there in a caring capacity, and I really appreciate that. Like, like Weiss is being more of a mom. Like, she's grown yeah. up more. Yeah, and like, so Yang didn't 
expect it, but meanwhile, we as the audience kind of did because we've seen how Yang has grown, right? And I think or that's Weiss pretty interesting. Yeah, we've seen how, well, both of them, but we've seen yeah. how Weiss has grown in this case, and I think that's really interesting for us to look at because obviously we've seen her character develop, but we have to remember that the other characters don't know all of this stuff about her, Dramatic right? Dramatic irony. Yeah, so yeah, she's, she's, sure, if you so, want to call so it that. So we're, we're seeing how we see Weiss, how they and, are seeing Yeah, exactly. Howard. And so also because this is also sort of new because we know that she's sort of grown up and she's developed, but we've never quite seen her like mother interact someone with yet. these people yeah. before. Uh, like in this. Yo, I mean, she just got there, and so yeah. you're right. And so I think that first Yang hugging or White hugging Yang probably surprised her, right? But then uh, on top of that, there's now this scene, and Yang's finally realizing like, oh, <laughs> like I understand. And so White tells a story about her dad. And that her dad never had good intentions. And so Hunter and I did a video a couple months ago, maybe, like, during the hiatus about that maybe, uh, like, Jacques started out loving her, but then changed her mind, uh, changed his mind, I guess. But no, now... The of capitalism. Yeah, now we... Man. Yeah, exactly. But now we he know... he was a dick from day one. Exactly. He a was day a one dick, dick from day one. Would. And so... Day one dicks are quite nice dicks. I don't know exactly what to compare this to because you don't really get the sense, like, in the ori not the original Snow White, but, like, the Disney version of Snow White that the evil queen was... The one people have seen. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the queen was in it for that. The other only comparison I can think of is Once Upon a Time because, um, basically what happens in there is that, um, I don't want to spoil this for anyone, but it's been out for, like, seven fucking years, okay? So, okay, so basically Regina, she's the evil queen, uh, she was in love with this, like, farm boy situation like this fiance like she had this fiance and the fiance died basically and so then she married the king of this other kingdom to get the throne because oh. she killed him uh and so it was part of her heartbreak and so maybe that would have happened to Jacques, and that's what turned him in but as far as marrying her goes he never had good intentions but i mean maybe even before marrying her so, he was in love with someone okay, else okay you're overthinking this is pretty explicitly they said <laughs> maybe that he wasn't a, into it he's just a dick no but i mean like just even before that something made him okay. this way that's what i'm saying previous like that, to him engaging in the yes marriage. exactly and so that previous so, to the marriage he actually did love someone and he lost her and that kind of made him very cold and i suspect he may just be like a, just maybe a he's just a dick okay he's just sometimes okay. a cigar is just a cigar whatever at Sigmund fine. Freud. Anyway, I really like this scene, and I like how Yang apologizes to Weiss because she said that she didn't know, and then Weiss says, "Well, it's okay because we all have our own version of this. Like we all have our own version of being lonely. It's not the same one, but like, sort of, you know, using each other's experiences, we can all help each other." And I thought that was a really like Weiss thing to say at the same time, and like it was just a really good message all around, and so I really liked that one. Um, especially, yeah, the own versions of loneliness thing, like, I think that's really powerful for me, anyway. Yeah. Because they're all sort of, I don't want to say they're all different versions of each other, because that's not exactly what I mean, but think about how Blake describes them, right? Like, Weiss is defiance, Yang is strength, Ruby is purity, they are all made up of similar concepts, I would say, but it's just, like different work if that, does that make sense do you understand what i mean like they're all heroes in their different way they just have a different like word that all defines them and they can use those words to work together and be a team you feel me sure i feel like i didn't explain that correctly you, whatever I, I it's just yeah no it's i it, sometimes you explain stuff and it's unnecessary because people got the gist of it okay well that's fine <laughs> Anyway, uh, so Yang had never considered why Blake left, I don't think. Because I re she, re remember how, like, Weiss says this, and she's just like, well, why do you think that she left? And Yang's like, huh, what? Like, I, I there was a reason. I wanted to ask you about that, because they briefly mentioned, like, everything that she was afraid of happening, happening. So I'm assuming yeah. basically just the White Fang. Like well, winning. yeah, the white, well, remember, I think that it was more afraid that Adam would hurt her friends, right? Right, no, and that, that, definitely, that happened. definitely happened, right? And so I feel like, yeah, it, it obviously makes a lot of sense why, you know, she left and everything, mm -hmm. I guess. I don't know. Maybe, because, like, maybe she, I, I think it may be less Adam and maybe more the white fang. Yeah, but I think Adam Adam's is in a position where he's as we controlling learned, so much yes. of the white fang that it's... It is the White Fang, but it's Adam's White Fang, because I don't think she's really, she would have been afraid of Sienna, because even Gira was sort of saying that, you know, he respects Sienna's motives, right? But it's really Adam that kind of made everything horrible. Mm -hmm. You could say. And I am saying. Yeah. Anyway. 
Um, more on that. Um, yeah, Yang says that she needed Blake. You know, and so I thought that was really powerful, kind of how she said that, that Weiss explains all of this stuff, but, um, you know, Yang says she never, like, she didn't need to be alone, uh, but, you know, Weiss is sort of, like, saying that she will come back when she's ready, uh, but Yang is kind of like, well, I needed her, like, now, and she starts to cry, and then Weiss is just like, I understand, but don't, like, don't worry, like, it's okay, you know what I mean? I just really like that scene, and I like, th they did a very good job voice acting everything in this yes. scene. I recall, like, Barbara talking about there being a scene that cut her up, like, per uh, performance-wise, yeah. I think it's this one, because she really gets- Oh, there's definitely more. If Blake ever gets back, though, because oh. I feel like that's what they're setting up now, is that in the final episodes Blake is gonna rejoin and they're gonna have this conversation because I feel like it would be weird for them not to have this as a setup do you understand what I mean mm -hmm. like um this is a bad example but like Jean getting shoved into the locker by Cardin and then later Pira using the locker to send him away like they've set stuff up in previous volumes that will planting come back later exactly it's planting and so I feel like they're planting this scene because later there is gonna be that conversation with Blake or I don't think she's gonna get captured at this point. I'm still kind of torn up about that, like, whether they are gonna get her in the end. Um, but if they, she does get captured, Yang, you know, I want to see Yang's reaction to that and say, okay, like, Blake, Blake needs us, you know what I mean? Like, Blake needs us to rescue her, sort of. Um, yes. But we can't, it's too early to tell whether Blake will actually get captured and be sent to Mistral or not, or if Blake will just go to Mistral with Sun I'd at this point. I so, well, we haven't quite gotten there yet. Yeah, but, we... like, Blake, you know, she got, she's basically let go. They kind of kicked the ass of those people that okay, were... Okay, like, I can tell for once, in, for once in your life you're excited for the important part of the episode, but let's, like, just make, let's do... But do you understand, delegate. you understand what I mean, though. That's all, like, yeah. like... We don't know where it's going yet, but I think that there is sort going to be some sort of well, setup we were with right Yang so Blake far later. about a lot of this. Uh, anyways, just about the the Weiss and Yang stuff. I, yeah, I just that was as much as I love the the later Blake stuff. That's that really was amazing. Those those scenes with Weiss and I love the new Weiss and I love the new dynamics. I mean, listen, right. In light of recent events, I suspect Bumblebee is dead, but Freezer Burn. What do you mean? Freezer Burn is alive. Oh, okay. He's alive and well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't shit yourself, Cal. Good lord. I'm just. Anyways. Also, uh, somebody posted a picture of Ilya looking up at Blake in the in the trailer in the in the in yeah. the Blake trailer, and like. Come on. It's so we obvious knew. now. We, we gotta get okay. Okay, so. Let's get to the more important part of the episode. Ring the bells! Okay, hold on. Sound the horns! There's okay. a homosexual in the okay, show! Okay, hold on a second. Okay, so Blake is trying to keep Ilya safe. She's trying to convince Ilya that if Ilya would just come with the Belladonnas, they can live happily ever after, and it'll be fine. But Ilya says that she's sorry, and then the first time, nothing happens. Uh, and so, and Blake keeps talking, but then she says, no, I'm sorry, and then and she has like, to clamp her fist, not. right? I love so that. So it's some kind of signal to Uma and Spider-Girl to get their, like, to get their ass going, but they didn't go. <laughs> like, they just, no, like, no, they, they just got, stood there, so they had to like, go again. No, because she said it the first time, and then she's like, oh, I guess I gotta clench my fist, and then she did it again. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, she tried to signal them the I, first time, I don't think it was go. a failed, I think it was for dramatics, Cal, I know, but I'm saying, God. I know it was for dramatics, but I'm saying the first time, like, Uma was just just eating his sandwich, you know, he was getting, oh, and also, Leah clenched her fist, I guess we gotta I go. I mean, I understand, like, surprise attack and all that, but they kicked her ass. I mean, the thing is, he basically jumped on her back out of the sky. Yeah. Like, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, and she also, the great Like, she uh, got winded, act. at least. Yeah, great voice acting, because you can tell, like, oh, she's winded, winded, like, that's yeah, exactly. like when you fall off your bike, that's not fun. That's not even falling off your bike. Okay, this is a little bit of a like a side story but Fuck when me. we had the ball pit in my house and when i was a kid i jumped on my cousin like uma jumped on uh like uma jumped on blake and like you like, uma your cousin yeah and she like legit like <laughs> christmas was not good that year <laughs> it was on christmas too like it was oh, on christmas eve up. and like oh, anyways I everyone had of... shamed me oh, anyways Lord. uh I was a kid. What do you, what the fuck do you want? Anyway, and that's me as like 
a child, okay? Imagine Uma jumping on an adult. Yeah, he probably, like, that's he probably He fucked like, her up. If she didn't have an aura, her back is broke. Oh, and that's the other thing, right? Her aura is that her aura right. wasn't activated because she thought that Ilya wasn't gonna hurt her. Well, bitch, you thought wrong. I don't and know then what to Spider say. Spider Girl came out, and then we learned something, Cal. Okay, what hold do we learn? on! Motherfucker! Okay, so I, I want to do a. Se okay, somebody called me out on this, but they were like, "There's gonna be a separate video about the Spider Girl, isn't there?" And I was like, "Maybe." You're right there exactly. Is. I don't know. Anyway, want it, but someone does. So, Ilya finally said. Ilya finally said. We were all waiting. Ilya says that Blake was too busy falling in love with Adam to notice to to notice that Ilya had always kind of been this person all along. That's kind of the implication there, and that. Uh, you know, I always, I wanted you to look at me the same way that you looked at him. And so, okay, so, she's gay. So oh, she's, she's really so gay. gay. Okay. I have some lines, okay? And you okay? were born that way. Ilya says yes, that she's sorry three times, okay? Yeah. She says she's sorry the first time, the, so and it the sorry the second up. time, and the sorry the third that time. That voice acting was wonderful. Like, I know. You could tell it just, Char it the emotion. Charmy? I don't, Jeremy Lin. Cher yeah, she's awesome. Like, she's a great voice actor, even we though she has to play Lucy. Like, no offense to fairy tale. Um, but, like, she, like, makes it. You know what got, I mean? She's got, she's got chops. So, so here are some lines that I enjoyed in the scene. Uh, it's the same world as you. I thought that was really, like, good. Like, it's the same one as you. Like, I thought that was a really nice... Like, mm, you know what I mean? Um, like, that Blake is almost naive, too naive to see the world around her. And that also fits with, again, Blake falling in love with Adam and being naive that way, if you want to make a comparison. Um, and also, look where it's gone in you. I think that bl when Blake said that, that was a good, like, sticker. That was a good, like, look. And it was just, it was full of emotion. Like, it was really nice. So, yeah, she says that she was always like this, but... Uh, Blake was too busy falling in love with Adam to notice. Oh, so she, so she's straight, probably. Who? Blake, probably. I mean, we don't know that. Okay, so, she, listen, Just Cal, because she liked a guy doesn't mean that she's straight. Yeah, but she missed, like, bedroom eyes over here, so. Yeah, but, fucking, like, she was a kid, right? Like, when you're a kid, do you really know? She was as old. Like, okay, like, from personal experience, okay, I have, like, I saw a lot of straight, like, movies and straight romance books. Like, I didn't consider the fact that a girl could give me bedroom eyes for a very long time. Listen, so, Cal, I, like, I, I until, wanted, I until wanted I came to, to the conclusion that everybody was bisexual somewhere in elementary school, which was not true whatsoever, yeah. I didn't consider that. And so, I don't know how much access Blake has to, like, gay young adult books, I'm, but I'm listen, pretty sure right? she probably didn't notice. You know what I mean? And I, Adam I, probably made it so she wouldn't notice. Like Adam's the heteronormative some... agenda. Yeah, exactly. As That's explained what I'm by a bull samurai. I I'm saying that like Adam probably was, you know, because okay, let's say Blake was like twelve or even fourteen. Like you don't really know how to date uh, people. Okay, at that no, point you don't know how to thing. date. Probably... You know, Anyways, like you don't know listen, how right? sex works. Listen, I mean, right? You know, it took you it took him fucking five seasons to okay, have listen. one gay chick. I want right? to talk about that in a minute, think... but I'm saying that. Uh, Ilya's eyes changed, like, she was blushing or something, she had this, yeah, like... Yeah, she had, like, this pink blush, and yeah. it was so good, And then it her eyes turned, like, scene. red, and oh. I thought that was really nice because of the contrast to Yang and again. she was pissed. I know. Oh, she was pissed. But, but I would be pissed, too, scene. if my friends fell in love with Adam, like, and then Adam turned out to be a This is what happens when person. you fuck with a gay girl, like, it was so great. Anyway. It had this wonderful sort of, like, yeah, it, fuck And me. you see it on Blake's face, that, like... Not that she never knew that necessarily, she but said, she's definitely she not okay. She you know realized what I mean? It. Exactly. Like, and like oh, how she says no. to Sun, Sun says, so are you okay? And then um, Blake says, you heard what Ilya said, but then she says, my family is in danger, right? But I feel like that wasn't the only thing that she was a little bit worried about right there. I feel like that Maybe. Sun was really sort of asking about Ilya confessing the feelings rather than the family. Because I feel like that's a stupid question to ask if she's okay about her family getting murdered, right? I think or, he meant about the other or revelation. Or just physically, because she did oh, get well, yeah, bodied. Oh, well, yeah, She did get bodied. But the way he the said that, it sounded view. more of an emotional thing. You well, know what I'm I mean? Well, I'm sure he was also emotional at that. Listen, right? You can yeah. pick it. You like, can do both. Like, you can nitpick it's, it's it six ways to Friday. He probably just meant in general. Point yeah. is, Cal, 
There's a there's oh a God. canon gay character that fucking means something that's cool and like edgy and like And like I know I wanna talk about and this in a separate gay for video. Gay, but like is her own thing and is cool and I dig it. It's so great. I wanna do this in a separate video, but I think some people are gonna get angry that she's like a quote unquote villain and she's gay and I'm like, no, y'all gotta I don't show. think she's villainess. Exactly. I mean, like she's, she's the villainous. antagonist, but she's not a villain. I she's just hurt and manipulated by Adam to yes. an extent. I think I also think that there is room for her her breaking good. Yeah. And like, I think, here's the thing. We want to do a video on this later, but Adam is using people's love against them. Yeah. He used the fact that Blake uh, loved him, right, to do all of these horrible things. He's using the fact that Blake loves other people to do, again, horrible things. He, like, again, this isn't confirmed anywhere yet, but he probably used the fact that Sienna may have cared about him and taking him in, depending on how, um, how that theory goes. To, against her as well, and then he's finally using oh, no. the fact that Yang, uh, you know, loves Blake, let's say as a friend, uh, mm -hmm. and then Callie You wrote Spider-Girl bigger than you wrote gay. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't write gay on this piece of paper. You didn't write gay because we knew it was saturated um, in gay. Do you understand what I mean, though? That Adam uses people's love against Emotions. everybody else. Yes. And I feel he's like yeah, there's a he's, word for that, manipulative. No, but like it's not just emotions, it's like love. And so that's why I think we did a video on this a while ago that Adam is like the anti enchantress in Beauty and the Beast. That he's not just a representative of the beast, but also the enchantress because he has the rose on his back sort of thing, right? And so obviously in Beauty and the Beast, the enchantress says the beast must learn uh, to love and have love in return. But if he's like the anti enchantress, it's almost like he's using everybody's love. You know what I mean? And so yes. I thought that was a nice, like, comparison if that Enchantress theory, uh, comes to be, comes to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it is, the Enchantress wanted the Beast to learn how to love, but instead he is using the fact that Blake knows how to love maybe too well, you could Like say. a little Wayne song. Anyways. Uh, Callie was kicking some fucking ass. Yeah. Like, she was just like, okay, I'll take this gun. Like, I would like to see her be like that with Gira, but I think the situations they were in were different. Yeah, like, they, the other they were on separate sides yeah. of the house. But yeah, she, like, the guy got because shot. Because they were in a shootout, right? And so yeah. that's a bit different than just being surrounded and, like, hitting people. If yeah, that makes sense. And because nobody in the Gira room seemed to have any guns, but people in the Cali room and did. And then, like, the, and then the guy, like, the little rabbit guard got shot, and she just took the gun and started, like, fucking capping people. I know. And she's like, get bad. out of my house! And like, I'm you just like... you motherfucker! And she just, like, nails people. Oh, Gira is, like, a tank. Oh, it like, was Gira wonderful. Gira is the Hulk. He was just picking people's faces up and smashing and them in the ground. That was my favorite part of this. And at, at the end, he, like, rips his shirt off, and you see, like, his little tuft of hair, and he's like, oh, he's fucking people up. Yeah. I want to, I just got the, every I'm Belladonna pretty sure they're gonna continue great. this next week, just because it would be like, okay, so oh, I- it would be the biggest, like, blue balls you've ever gotten I was talking about this with Arnold, and, because I was saying, I think that they're not gonna show us this next week. I think they're gonna go to the Cinder fight. But Arnold was like, but that would be like them skipping the Tyrion and Crow fight in, into two pieces. Yeah, but with the they Tyrion didn't do and that. Crow fight, we got it back to back. I really uh, so, it. yeah, I kind of agree with Arnold now. That's probably what they're gonna do. No, anyway, um, I want to talk about music for a second. While Gear was fighting, uh, for, uh, from Shadows was playing, I think that Triumph was playing while Yang was angry. It was one of the songs, it was that song in the Blake trailer, I think. Um, but if I'm wrong, you guys can tell me. I just didn't recognize it. Anyway. Again, we have a lot of videos planned for this week, guys, and if so, if you guys want to see them today, if you guys want to see them early, you guys can be $5 patrons over on Patreon, and you because, guys And I don't everything. know if you're, if you're going to realize this, but we're actually going to talk about gay, a gay person that exists in this episode. Like, six times at least. Like, we're, like, today, it's this Ilya week Centria. is Ilya week, okay? It's Ilya like, o'clock. It's my... We bleed Ilya. If you guys didn't... I got a tattoo on my ass. If you guys didn't know, it's my birthday this week. And oh, so this is a like gift. This is this a This is gift. a birthday. They, yeah. they knew it was like, there's a gay girl somewhere. I, I, I know this video <laughs> isn't as long as our other ones, but I feel like that's just because a lot of it was action and I feel stuff. like for, like, for episodes where fucking nothing happened, somehow you managed to talk for hours. But then on this of all episodes, the most emotionally charged episode since like the fall of Beacon, nothing crickets relatively. I mean, I really, I did really like the episode, I and think I think this is my thing. favorite episode of Ruby is so that far. You guys will see my reaction next week, and I feel like that is where you will yes. get 
the raw emotion, right? Because I have I have had to do the I episode again and sit through notes. And I like, may actually like want to watch that twice. Why? As we watch that, vi I, I don't watch these videos because I'm not a narcissist. I may actually watch that video the because reaction like video? yeah, the reaction. You want to like, see the look on Because I'm face? like, what did I look? Was I shocked? Was I expected? Because I I guessed Ilya from like yeah, the start. like we did, talked about this in our Ilya and Blake video, but that Ilya may have had feelings for Blake, but yeah. she was with Adam and it was unrequited. We were totally fucking right. Yeah, God, fuck we're off, so Rooster right. Teeth. We we're got so you, right. okay? God, we're so it's just we're like we're like gay Notre Dame. We're know. so fucking smart. <laughs> and so, also that also, one Ruby <laughs> Ruby fan fiction I like that I was like, oh, it's gonna be like this, and you were like, nah, you're joking, motherfucker, it was right. But they did it better. So Here's the other thing, somebody else in the Murder of Bird server was like, damn, everybody wants to fuck, fuck Blake. Ilya, son, Adam, Adam, possibly Yang, like, God. geez! And I was just like, I mean, that I- That pussy I would, made of gold! I, like, I know, I mean, see, she's a cat, so She's that's a cat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway! That pussy's made of gold. Right. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. I think that you guys understand, though. We're super fucking excited. Like, we're just so excited, and we're so happy. Um, and so, again, look out for our videos later this week. If you guys want to become patrons on Patreon, they'll probably be up later today, or at least Sunday at the latest. Oh, there's something else that I need to talk about um, in regards to VidMe, but I think that I'll do that in another video. The short form is VidMe shutting down, so I need to move all the reactions we put on VidMe onto somewhere else, and I'll explain that more in another video, but just in case you guys It's almost wondering. like it's impossible to face off against YouTube sometimes. Also, uh, it's my birthday, so if you guys want to give me anything for my birthday, you can Because, I mean, Patreon. really, what else do you need? You got a confirmed gay Ruby A Nintendo character. Switch. <laughs> like... That's that's better than the four hundred dollars it costs to get a switch. Anyway, I want the games. We'll more see than you that. later. I love you guys. Bye. God, you're so happy.